Welcome Atomians to Atomy International, the place where we learn, grow, and reach the top together. My name is Mike Shujadi, a Diamond Master. In today's episode of the Atomy Global Leaders one-on-one -on -one interview, we have a very special guest from Singapore. Let's find out who that is. Stop doing Atomy. Yes, I mean it. Stop doing because if you do there will be a time where you do not do is that so but i ask you to be at me you must become the at me that the chairman is looking for welcome sharon rose james chang to the show and i really thank you for master jam accepting my invitation to this interview and I hope this will help a lot of Atomians learn about Atomy and its vision. How are you, Master James, today? Hi, Mike, and uh, thank you for the invite. Yes, I'm good. Uh, it's a good morning, and uh, we have a good. Let's have a good time here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Master James is from Singapore. It's really like the half globe of where I am from Canada. So, how was the weather there? What is it like right now? Well, Singapore is predominantly like in summertime, it's hot all the time. It's like um, 29 to about 34 degrees Celsius uh, most of the time throughout the year. Mm -hmm. That is the kind of weather we lived in. It's um, humid and uh, but generally I think a lot of us are quite used to the weather here. Yes. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great, Master James. So. Master James, um, let's start in by introducing yourself. We want to know more about Master James for sure. Uh, sure. Uh, my name is James. I come from Singapore. I'm born in Singapore, um, but I was schooled in uh, both Singapore and in, uh, in the US and then in the UK uh, when I did my universities and all. And then, um, yeah, basically, I'm now a health coach. My area of specialty is in uh, exercise and nutrition science. And then when I was in the US, I basically work in the area of uh, helping people to get healthy through therapeutic programs and through, um, you know, menu plan and uh, detox program. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was in uh, China, um, because my wife was posted there, um, she's a pharmacist by training. And then when we were both there, I also helped uh, do the same health uh, coaching program to customize the program for people to get healthy using a range of uh, products as well as um, some other unique uh, therapeutic um, programs, uh, protocol that I meet out to the people. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a little bit of my background. I did a lot of uh, part-time lecturing in the while in Singapore, uh, consulted for MNCs in the area of uh, health and nutrition, mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time run my little uh, consulting business uh, mm -hmm. based on referral. That's have been my background before I came to know Adamy. Okay, so all right, so there is there is a really interesting background. You had a lot of uh, knowledge about the nutrition, definitely. That's why when when I, I actually found you from one of the Atomy Philippine, the product information VOD, then I was so amazed by Master James. I was thinking, what about if I can invite Master James to my program? Then let's find out more about him. And now we know that he he was a nutritionist, right? Thank you, Master James. So, yes. how did you meet Adamy? Uh, it's not my fault. It's always my wife's fault. <laughs> but okay, I'm just joking. Uh, she was just doing window shopping. We we were just back from Beijing uh, after being there for about three years, and we were back. And then uh, she was just um, doing a window shopping uh, after office hours uh, one time. Um, that was, I believe, at the, near the end of 2016, thereabout. And she met a friend that she we haven't seen for a while because we were away in the US and then China before we were finally back uh, over a span of about uh, six plus years. And then when we came back, um, she met up that friend of hers that she hasn't 
uh, met mm. for a while and saw the distinction in in, in terms of her of her you know her skin and her, and, and her right. face and all that and so she asked that golden question <laughs> what did you do to your face and right. then of course like all typical atomy members you know she was introduced to uh, uh, the skincare products and all that and uh, she decided to oblige the friend when the friend kind of asked her to why why don't you just sign up a free membership so that you can access the products and she was just curious about it and nevertheless uh, she obliged the friend and she just signed up the uh, the form you know and then at that time uh, we hand over the IC the, our our registration card um, and she did that without a problem because she know that knew that friend quite a while mm -hmm. and then uh, when she took the form back home and I saw the form and I saw the word sponsor mm -hmm. and then I told her well, that is definitely MLM Mm -hmm. Right, and then I was like, "Nah, that is not where we want to go, and that's that's not what we want to do." And that that started the journey of how we came to know Adam. Sorry, when was the time? When was it? That that was in uh, October, um, September, October. There about 2016. 2016. Okay. Yeah, that right, was the right. time. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I, I think it was 2015. 2015, yes. Oh, 2015. Right. Uh, so, Atomy was open just for about six months at that time. Oh, yes. okay, okay. So, you register as a Singapore, Singaporean member. I think, I mean, yes, I mean your wife's, Singapore right? Singapore member, yeah. Singaporean Singapore. members. Right. Okay. And before before you met Atomy, you already mentioned that you were a nutritionist, right? So, yes. So you and your wife actually started just becoming consumers, I believe, using the product and getting better with the look. And I think, how did you fall in love with the Atomy products? Um, not yet, not in the early period, um, because one of the one of the drawback of us uh, professionals mm. is that we don't quite believe in a lot of things. You know, mm. uh, we take time to receive and to accept certain things. So we, we don't run around because people tell us it's good and then we just go ahead. We right. and 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 maybe it's a it's a problem of the, <laughs> such a profession. You know, we would have to investigate all the details, look at all the ingredients, mm. and um, honestly, from from the direct translation of a Korean language to an English, and I looked at all the English uh, label on the products. I we 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 were actually not very impressed. So it, we we took a little while to get used to the Atomy products because just by looking at the ingredients and all that, we wouldn't we we didn't buy in actually. Oh, uh, but but somehow uh, I was looking for quite a while already. I was looking for a herbal and a very well researched product in the area of uh, immunity because on the on the um, in in the industry you know on the market actually there yeah. isn't very much products that has a direct impact on immunity and i didn't like tablets i didn't like capsules you know and i was and, and i didn't like any other uh, offer of uh, anything that helps with immunity unless it's a little bit on the liquid side like a tonic, a drink, which I thought that it would really uh, be better in terms of absorption and, and in terms right. of uh, direct impact on the body. And because I was looking for that and when I investigated Atomy, that was the, actually the first thing that uh, drew me to, you know, not chuck it away or put it aside just because it's an MLM. I wanted to know more about the product. So we started on uh, investigation for two weeks, right mm -hmm. after she signed that form. Mm -hmm. uh, I attended some of the presentation that was already ongoing at that time. I visited the location at the head office and I tried to find out more about the company. And to be honest, I wasn't impressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but somehow, uh, I, I guess it's because the company was quite new at that time and uh, a lot of things uh, were just starting out and when I attended the seminar and the, the speaker were more 
uh, Chinese oriented, trying to speak English, and so uh, it wasn't fluent. And uh, so we, we thought that oh, the standard of the company was just so so, you know. But I failed to realize at that point that it is just being atomy, meaning the small will really uh, bring a surprise yeah. to yeah. to the big. The word atom, and then the company is atomy, which is like an adjective. Adjective, an adjective describing how small it is. It is just atom me, and I like that because I I believe that the small will bring down the mighty. All right, so don't don't underestimate the small, and so I decided to investigate this. While it is a sim, it, it conveys the idea of simplicity. It is not uh, just simple, right? I believe the company. Um, Basically, offers something great. When I finally came across Himo Him, uh, the tonic that is herbal, that is commissioned by the Korean government to uh, for a, a research, and then it is very well researched in a lot of the uh, medical journals that is mentioned. Uh, including British Medical Journal and uh, the various uh, articles that we can access uh, in PubMed, which is basically the online resource for research uh, papers. And so when I saw that, I said, "Well, that is quite a good product to uh, come up to the level. If you research him or him, you will find that easily there are thirty to forty citations by other research." On this particular product, and I think that is what we meant by peer-reviewed research, mm. right? It's not an independent research; it's a research that's reviewed by fellow professionals. So we call that peer-reviewed peer research. Mm. And Atomy enjoys that. I mean, uh, him or him enjoy that status, mm. and mm. so that kind of uh, gave me a little bit more confidence. Mm. So I continue to. Uh, um, you know, research the the company, but the the next nine months, I was reluctantly, though I tried, but I reluctantly used the products myself. I didn't experience anything, you know, because uh, I haven't been sick or had flu or fever or anything like that for the last twenty five years before Adam, and so I thought that. It is normal that I don't experience any beneficial effect that I can, uh, um, you know, be able to tell straight away. So, <laughs> I, I tried it on my patients. You know, those people who were seeing me for health improvements, and those people who are uh, following me. You know, when they are asking me for recommendations, you know, that straight away I was beginning to refer the Atomy products just to try out and see what happens mm -hmm. when it works on uh, people with um, symptoms uh, requiring relief. And interestingly, when I did that for a period of about nine months and uh, letting those people try out, the feedback was pretty good. So because of that, I my belief in Atomy products uh, strengthened. And of course, at that time, I started only with the health supplement. It was after that later that I started to use the having gained more confidence, and I started to use a lot more of the daily use items such as toothbrush, toothpaste, and shampoo, and all that. That eventually I become more uh, an avid user and a believer of the Atomy range of products and what Atomy has to mm. offer. And that wow. has been the journey. Wow, that is interesting. So, you actually joined in 2015, and then it took you almost, probably almost a year, and then you started doing the Atomy business. <laughs> so yes, uh, and I, I actually didn't really start doing the Atomy business uh, intentionally, intentionally because somehow I still didn't want to get involved in an MLM mm -hmm. uh, nature, you know, uh, business, mm -hmm. and I decided that. Uh, I'll just use the products, and I'll just recommend people to the products, and and I think that will be good enough. It, mm. It's okay for me. Right. So that you are still, uh, you are still doing your own business as a nutritionist, and then you actually referring the Hemohim product to your patients, uh, to your patients, and then when exactly that you started to think, oh, I wanted to quit my daytime job and jumped in to admin ship. When was that? 
Well, uh, it was actually quite interesting. I never uh, really look at the uh, my office in the uh, Atomy website and never really uh, bother with that. Mm -hmm. I know there are points, but I don't quite know how it really works. Yeah. And then uh, one day I have um, one of the member uh, that I introduced to Atomy, and then uh, you know we we typically. Uh, when we register people, we typically will put them one on the left and one on the right, and 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 and, and that is the system. So we just follow along, okay. And then she one day she came to me and she said that how is it that I'm getting some money in my bank account and it mm. says it's from Adamy, and then oh you have money from Adamy and nothing has happened to me yet. Right. You know, so I became curious about that, and I started looking, and um, and then there was where we started to yeah. I actually did have something because um, mm -hmm. at that time uh, my wife was looking more into the accounts rather than me. I, I don't really pay attention to the bank accounts in that sense. And then she did say, yeah, we did we did have one or two of those uh, you know um, rebates. I call them rebates. And the company gave me rebates, and then, oh, okay, it sounds like uh, some kind of an affiliate marketing, you know, <laughs> in the in the internet uh, business world that that I'm a little bit more familiar with, and then um, it got me curious, mm -hmm. and that was how I got started. All right, let me introduce people, put them, you know, uh, uh, in a more strategic manner so that the, mm. the points and the rebates will, will increase and that was how I kind of got into that. So in that sense, yes, the money was a, a blessing but mm. it was because I wanted to have the products free, you know, use mm. stuff free, you know, if you have the rebates to to cover your expenses, why not? You know, that's so that's true. how I, I got started. So for the first uh, uh, one and a half years, it was like that. So it was on a part-time basis, recommend people because mm. they come and see me for uh, health issues mm. and then uh, put them in, in into the lineage and then uh, put somebody else there, one left, one right. Hopefully they'll get something in the process of using. Uh, and that's, that's how we got started. So it was one and a half years uh, part-time until we decided that this is something that can uh, become bigger because by that time we were attending a uh, one day seminar we were attending the success academy just for the fun of it because we we kind of like to attend uh, meetings like this and uh, we want to hear what people say about that we we weren't like wanting to know how much people earn because we don't quite uh, take to that well we, we, we think that sometimes it's a lot of overselling over you know emphasis yeah. on um, the amount of money earned and all that so we weren't going to those seminar for those things but it was more like what people say of products and how do people present the products and I thought that mm, that's not really the way it works but it's okay all right we understand the company was just growing and all that yeah so it was after the one half years that things were more, uh, you know, we, we were a little bit more confident, you know, that we decided that, okay, we, we would um, go full time. And, and, and so this is my third year uh, full time in Adamy. Wow, that is interesting. So Master Jim, have you had previous MLM experience before Adamy? Um, before Adamy, we had one uh, MLM experience, uh, but at that time, again, it was because of the product called Colostrum, mm -hmm. which is the uh, uh, IgG, you know, basically one of the immunoglobulins, which is about immunity again. It's uh, one of those immunoglobulins that the body needs to enhance our immunity, mm -hmm. and it's a powder base. Um, and I used I uh, used that product, uh, all right. And that time, and that's the only reason why I was involved in there. It is not a you know typical MLM because at that time in Singapore, MLM is not allowed. So it is more uh, like 
the uh, real estate and the insurance industry where that, whereby there is some kind of a overriding mm -hmm. uh, say up to the maximum of four levels mm. so that was the nature of this company up to four levels but it gave me an idea of what MLM is but I didn't quite bother I was using the products yes I get something uh, in along the way and I'm getting the products for free in return and so that's fine by me Mm -hmm. And then after that, because of that exposure, which only lasted for about a year, after that somehow, you know, there was a lot of issues involving that company. There's, there were a lot of uh, quality control issues, products were recalled mm -hmm. and, and so on. So we decided, oh, okay, the company is not so reliable. While you have a good product, I don't want to be associated with a company mm -hmm. that you know, had all these issues. So I decided to stop because uh, we were recommending products to people as well. And we thought we don't want to recommend products that from company that is suspect, you know. So we decided, um, you know, we wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that was way back in 1990. Uh, I think it's 1997 thereabout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we stopped in about 1998 plus thereabout and then it was only in the year 2002 mm, okay. okay that i recall um, vividly that there uh, was mway and there was uh, you know unicity and all the various mlm started coming into singapore mm. and uh, along the way i consulted for um, the company forever living all right and mm -hmm. a relative of mine was involved in mway and that's how i got to know about mlm and the way mm -hmm. it works and um by consulting i mean i was uh you know engaged as an external consultant could go in and advise their members how to use the products mm -hmm. so that was the only involvement i had with uh, okay, you know the two companies for mway it was because of a relative so i i i uh, attended some of the presentation, understand mm -hmm. what's going on and mm -hmm. again on the side, on a private basis, advise some of the people how to use the products. And then along the way, I, have ex I was exposed to Melaleuca and uh, that was when again, uh, I didn't sign up membership but I advised friends as to how they can use the products and mm -hmm. I didn't like any of those companies because I personally find uh, products pricing was a little higher than the value the products mm -hmm. actually offered so that's why I was never involved in any other MLM except the very first one mm -hmm. which also had the same problem you know the value is not as high as the as the price that it was charged at but I didn't know at that time I thought uh, it was really that good and I and I used it and until uh, somehow when things happen and mm. I found that a, a nine dollar uh, cost of a product wow. was marketed at 90 plus dollars wow. <laughs> and then I, I, yeah. I could not accept that you know and I said that's not the way to recommend to my mm. to my patients the use of product that I thought was good and it, they were quite good but again they were good because there were there were lack of others to compare with <laughs> all right and and so yeah I, I steered clear from um, you know uh, MLM type of uh, products because following the experience with Mway and Meloluca and you know forever living I, I didn't want to have anything to do with that so it took me a while to really settle in with Atomy. Oh, okay that is very interesting you didn't have too much MLM background not not like me I I used to have many different exposure of MLM so <laughs> for me doing Atomy the first time it was kind of like try and error but how did you start your Atomy business because you know we have binary and then we, we don't just place left and right, left and right. Did you have any mentor when you started doing Atomy business? Oh, no, not really. Um, we started out on our own because we wanted to 
take it easy. We don't want to start going out and doing MLM and uh, start going out and telling people to join in. So our focus wasn't about people signing up and things like that, but more of people using products and really getting the benefits from the use of the products and let the uh, uh, system take care of itself. And to this day, that has still been our main focus. Come in, try the product, use the product and let the system take care of itself in terms of the you know the compensation and so on i don't really like the personally i don't really like the idea of becoming a little bit manipulative okay do this three hundred thousand, and you match and then you know uh, uh don't buy today buy tomorrow and all that we don't really want to go there unless uh it is to generate um a, a way of Fun, um, you know, funding. In other words, you want to raise uh, money, you know, uh, for a certain cost. Then we will do that. But if it's talking about your passive income, then it should be passive, and you shouldn't want to pay too much attention on that. But again, um, I hear of many other leaders and many other people uh, speaking differently about this. So I always told myself that we can have money but money cannot have us. Right. In that, you know, you can pursue after all the dreams there is in enemy, but you just want to be aware what become of you mm -hmm. in the process. And that is something that I watch over very, very carefully so that while we become somebody in enemy, all right, it is not an end in itself and that we do not lose ourselves in trying to pursue for money. Uh, and that is uh, that has always been my stand. And so when when I when I started out and I, I became sales master and then I became diamond master, and then finally Sharon Rose, it, it took me that amount of time to to catch up with myself to say, hey, where there is money to be made, uh, but let's be careful that it is not just all about money and having more money but it's about the people that you influence and the people that you bring into the team that you really want to impact and uh, help them achieve the goals of their lives and that has been my focus uh, for the last uh, two years now you know after a period of uh, experience in anatomy i begin to realize that there is a far greater uh, objective and a far greater outcome that you can uh, go for and not just about passive income and not just about you know the mastership to be right up there as quickly as you can uh, because that is not the end point for anatomy for any one of us that's true. Wow, that's very good points, <laughs> Master James. Right. So since you already mentioned that you you're a, a Sharon Rose Master, you mind telling us? I think I, if I'm not mistaken, Master James, you're also a center leader, Commonwealth in in Singapore. Do you mind telling us the story how you become a center leader and then your milestone from sales master, diamond master, until Sharon Rose Master? Yes, I'm the center manager for Commonwealth. Uh, drive, Commonwealth Drive Lifestyle Center. Mm -hmm. A couple of reasons. Uh, we decided that we want to do, we, if we decide to do full time, because we were in a situation where my wife was working in a pharmaceutical company, and then uh, because she went up so high in the rank, I guess it became a little bit more expensive for the company. <laughs> and, um, you know, um, up to some point, they were like trying to post her here and post her there. Mm. And the final destination was to post her into the Middle East. And they say, no, not Middle East. We can go to the US, we can go to China, but not Middle East. And that was when, you know, we came back to Singapore. And then in Singapore, finally, the company that she was in uh, was sold to another pharmaceutical company. So there was like some kind of a merger. And because of that, uh, she didn't want to go back to the pharmaceutical uh, way of uh, the business because while she's a pharmacist, she 
basically never really took any medicine all her life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> never quite believed in med- medicine, you know, because yeah. we all we both believe that medicine does nothing to your immunity. It cannot do anything to your immunity, and your immunity is really uh, developed by the way you lived your life the food that you take and the stress you manage and, and so many other factors that is in your control whereas uh, medication is a different, different story altogether mm-hmm. so at that point in time we decided that well since we are already uh, working on uh, a passive income let's be a little bit more active to uh, develop and strengthen this area yeah so it's a combination of active passive uh, you know, involvement and so we decided that uh, all right we can have a center we should have a center it was, the idea of course was suggested by uh, our uplines at that time because um, I think at that time Singapore only had four centers and mine would have oh. been the fifth center wow. mm-hmm. and uh, we say why not Yes. Because the other reason is that we have been running around different places, different centers, trying to mm-hmm. conduct our meetings, trying to meet up with our uh, partners. And we, we thought that we want to develop this business uh, more mm-hmm. than perhaps a place of our own, whereby we are in control of timing, setup, environment. Uh, perhaps we can do that. And so, uh, in the end, we decided that we will start a center. Uh, interestingly, it was uh, approved. It was, uh, you know, the, the process was quite straightforward and we were looking for a place, but we took about six months or more uh, looking for an ideal place. And uh, finally, we landed on this place called Commonwealth Drive and we immediately fall in love with the name because it gave us the name of that road where the the, the uh, location is and we immediately gave me a kind of an idea we are on commonwealth drive meaning that we want to drive wealth for common people like you and i so that gave us a new sense of uh, vision and direction about where we want to take atomy to and why we want to do this and uh, that was when also, we decided to go full-time. So my third year full-time also meant the third year as a center manager for Commonwealth Drive, a place, a simple place, a small place, um, and yet a place we call home, a place that we wanted people to come back to, uh, to find peace and, and rest from all the atomy business activity that they do uh, outside that can be pretty harsh and pretty challenging in a very you know cold and unforgiving world of business Mm -hmm. that we are all in in this modern day context and yet uh, we must master the courage and uh, the capacity to give and to Mm -hmm. offer value from what we have and so we have to go out there and meet with people and, and continue to offer what we have to them and come back to the center to obtain uh, you know, uh, recuperation, recovery, you know, recharge. And so I wanted a place that can do those things and not a place for business, right? So it is a place for us to you know interact, meet with people, get to know one another, and all that, and that's what the Commonwealth Drive Center is all about. It's all about. Wow. And and we we are enjoying our time there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the going can be challenging at time, uh, but that is more on the the running of the center. Mm-hmm. But it does not uh, take us away from the spirit behind the center, and that is to be able to. Uh, minister as in to be able to give encouragement and strength and empower people to do better and to become better okay so this year actually last year during march 2020 the whole world got the covid 19 pandemic how did it affect you as your your academy business obviously as also also your center what happened to your 
center at that time. Right. A couple of things happen while we are not able to meet and gather at the center and people are more shut away at homes. Mm -hmm. One of the things was that we switch everything online as in we have a Zoom meeting like this and in fact that allow more people to attend the seminars and the session uh, we conduct. Whereas previously at the center is restricted by the hour, restricted by the time and the traveling you know uh, and so um, in this play in, in being an online session now anyone can come in and a lot of them will have no more excuse to mm. absent themselves <laughs> right. but they now know that it's just a press of a button on their phone and they can listen in mm. or turn on the laptop and they can see themselves there and so um, it has been interesting mm -hmm. uh, that it's gone online. And then in that sense, the business actually improved. A lot more people do their ordering online. Whereas previously, they would just run to the center and get it from us. From the inventory that we do uh, put aside just to cater to uh, people who needed stuff urgently. Um, and that's the purpose of the center. And so um, now people are ordering online instead of being um, uh, lazy to, to just make use of the center's uh, service to provide them with the product, including even doing the online ordering because sometimes there's a lot of not so computer savvy uh, members who come asking for help genuinely and, and that's how we help. And others catching on with that idea become lazy and oh, you just, you just do it for me. All right, and so um, you know, being shut down uh, in terms of the physical gathering, the people have no choice but to you know do a little bit more of their own ordering and then come and pick up stuff uh, by appointment. So the the running of the center take a slightly different shift now, yes. whereby by appointment and then. Um, also the online meeting and I was able to open up the online meeting now to even the international circles mm. of friends and uh, contacts where they can come and join us on a session mm. instead of just having uh, not been able to come to the center mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. So that was a key change and business actually grew. Mm. So our center are still uh, gradually and uh, progressively uh, increasing in terms of membership sign up at the center, in terms of participation at the mm -hmm. meeting, and in terms of uh, online ordering on their own. Uh, so this is this is good uh, news for the center. Right. So this COVID nineteen pandemic is kind of a blessing in disguise. It's actually forced your center member to order their products online because they have no choice <laughs> and your right. business even grew even more wow that's amazing now you can even now you open your international meetings every week now you can gather all people around the world all get together with the same vision in the that meeting. is wow. true that and is so for people who says that i can't do the business it's very tough because of covid 19 we can't go out we can't get it it's only half the story. The other half of the story is that you actually can get online, get on a phone, get on Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. bring them to other Zoom meetings and uh, people have lesser of an excuse not to you know, jump in because they can always turn on their phone and you know, listen to it and some people still get on with their house housework and mm -hmm. get on with their you know, handling their children and so on and so forth. And they still can listen in from time to time and and be, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, attached or exposed to atomy environment, That's right. uh, even in, in a slightly different way rather than total totally absent from all mm. atomy involvement. Right. So right. that is really a good thing. And therefore, actually, more people should do better, better. with the atomy model of business. Mm -hmm. in the COVID-19 than uh, others with a brick and mortar, uh, you know, retail setup, mm -hmm. right? And right. we hear of a lot more people in the restaurant business, in oh, yeah, the, sure. you know, uh, business that require physical 
on-site activity, mm -hmm. uh, suffering from the uh, shutdown and the movement control and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But the Atomy business is growing and I have members who challenge for mastership mm -hmm. even during this period. Wow. And just yes, by calling yes. people up and mm -hmm. uh, meeting over Zoom and collecting orders and, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it can be done. Yes, In fact, right. it's even better because they do more because they don't have to spend time commuting. That's true. So that is an interesting uh, fact of the situation where mm -hmm. uh, I also know a lot of people forgot about that or conveniently wouldn't go that direction. Mm -hmm. So, is it more an excuse, you know, not doing enemy because of uh, deeper reasons like the fear of objection, the fear of meeting people, you mm -hmm. know, or is it really movement control restriction? So, mm -hmm. something that we really have to uh, come face to face with and you will find that it's not, all these things doesn't put us down. That's it true. actually should propel us to the right Action. Mm -hmm. And the right action is get online. Atomy is an online business. Get online, meet people online, talk to people online, send out messages uh, electronically, and you get to reach a lot more people that's true, than yeah. just uh, physically. Right. Yeah. No, that's really, I agree, Master James, because you know, the COVID 19 pandemic, this is not localized event. This is like the whole world in effect. Even in Canada, a lot of small businesses, they actually forced to shut down because they don't have the fund to sustain their business with closing with the lockdown or close down. So really, we are really fortunate, all Atomians. We have the 100% Atomy online store. It means our business will never stop because this is 100% online. Unless you stop opening your mouth, that is your store, right? Nobody knows Atomy unless we open our mouth. So we are given the store unless we open it by our mouth so again there's no reason for all Tomians. oh i don't have time i cannot drive to the meeting or to the seminar now everything is online like master james said you have no choice you just press a button install a zoom app and then you can you can do whatever that you're doing and then listening to the leaders or the center leaders or any programs in through the zoom thank you master james to point that out <laughs> You're very welcome because it's, yeah. it's always about helping people to That's achieve true. their goals, including members in the Atomy family. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the last two years, uh, for me in the Atomy business journey, it's more about uh, influencing and helping people mm -hmm. across the different Atomy teams and not just my own team. Oh, okay. um, mm -hmm. In the initial years of experience, I found a lot of uh, uh, practices involving, you know, this is my group, this is my people, you know, this is your people. Mm -hmm. We don't say certain things, but this is my people. And we only, you know, teach the secrets of the business within mm -hmm. uh, your own group. To some extent, it is true, but through the experience at the at the uh, Lifestyle Centre in Singapore, I found there were many, many members who have inactive leaders or leaders who uh, have a different way of doing the Atomy business that doesn't, uh, that the members themselves couldn't get along. And uh, members want to uh, achieve their dreams in Atomy, but the, the leadership is, is not what, you know, uh, is helpful for them. Right. And uh, inactive leaders and uh, of course, um, other groups are not opening up to, to help them. So there are really a lot of pockets of uh, groups of people right. um, all over, uh, and I'm sure even more internationally. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've, my, my attitude uh, from that time on during the COVID up till now, mm -hmm. is that since there are so many more people and then now everybody goes online, anybody can you know, uh, join the online session and never mind what group, come on in, learn something. The model is the same. You must first learn and learn and learn because there's so much about each one of us ourselves that we must empty out before mm -hmm. the good stuff come in. 
Yes, correct. I mean, let's face it. If you already are filled with a lot of good stuff, mm. you should have been more successful by now. Mm. And if you are not, and you know who, where you are, mm. every one of us know where we are. If you think you are not successful, then you need to empty out those things that are not helping you to be successful. Yes. And now come to after me, learn um, as much as you can. Okay, mm. and that is part of the eight, eight steps to success. You know, you just need to make a decision and you need to join in the, the uh, learning about atomy. That is part of also of the eight core where the first thing is to get aligned, you know, watch the atomy training. And now in this case, join the online meetings with the different groups and all that and learn to empty more of yourself that didn't work and fill in more of those stuff that uh, will work for you as you go along. And so what better time to do it than now because now it is borderless, it is, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to commute and you just get online and learn stuff. And, and this is something that I thought would really uh, help people in their journey now. And when you learn, then you have more things to offer when you open your mouth all right so i go on a, a 3m approach mm. a 3m approach yes. okay and that is your 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 mouth mm -hmm. your message mm -hmm. and the media basically it so long as you are able to bring this tree together you need to open your mouth and talk mm -hmm. but before you do that you need to have the right message and you need to put those two into the right channel, which is the right media. It could be a social media, it could be an online Zoom meeting, it could be the telephone, it could be an email communication, it could be your WhatsApp, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever, mm -hmm. just get the right message out, okay? And open your mouth to do that. Mm -hmm. And with this 3M, I'm very sure a lot of us can get our business ongoing again, whatever the surrounding circumstances is. Wow, thank you, Master James. There you go, Tomians. You never get these tips anywhere else, <laughs> only from this one-on-one -on -one global interview. 3M, your mouth, message, and media. Use those 3Ms and you'll be successful 100% as long as you stick with the eight steps to success and do the daily eight core habits, right? I will put mm -hmm. the link on the top so you can all watch the what is the eight step to success? What is the daily eight core habits? You can all learn. And then like Master James said, three M's. Never forget. I will never forget. It's just like because in Canada, we have the sticker called three M. It will stick in my head. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you. So we've talked about all your journey. Now we want to talk more about your personal journey, right? So what are your dreams to add to me, Master James? Well, certainly since we've decided that we want to do, we will get involved in the Atomy business, it is definitely all the way to complete the journey to be an Imperial Master. Because if we want to do it, then you want to do it all the way so that you can fully experience the, the life-changing process mm -hmm. of the Atomy uh, platform. Mm -hmm. So it's not just going to be, oh, I'm a sales master, that's good enough. I earn 2000 2005 per month, that will be good enough. No, you, you are not experiencing the full journey. It's like you change up to your swimsuit and you want to go and swim in the sea and you just got your anchor deep, you know, uh, you got your foot wet you know, in the seawater and then you come back up and they say, oh, that's good enough. I have touched seawater and I've been in the sea and I've, I've, I've done, uh, you know, I've done my swimming. No, you have not done your swimming. You you probably haven't even tasted what, this, yeah. how does seawater taste like. Yeah. You haven't even experienced, for example, being in the, in the Dead Sea. Have you heard mm. of the Dead Sea in uh, somewhere in, uh, in, in Israel? Uh, in, in that area, okay, where you literally float because the sea is so dense with all the nutrients and all the, all the uh, uh, um, material and the minerals and all that, that the, the body literally float and never sink in, never sink down. Mm. Um, wow, that's a different experience when talking about swimming in the sea. That's it's true. different. 
So that's just an example that there are always different parts. So you are now, I'm now Sharon Rose. Mm-hmm. Then I believe when I come to Star Master or Royal Master, it will be another level of very enriching experience because now you're going to deal with uh, the challenges of life. Um, not just about enemy, but the challenges of life when you meet with people of different levels and different mindset and, yes. and you tackle issues and challenges of a different implication, mm-hmm. right? So as you grow and you become more uh, international and more open about the various implications of a business that can change your life, mm-hmm. not all business change your life. Businesses can, can, can be just businesses as in they they preoccupy your life That's true. That's but true. it's not meant to be like that because if it's anything that preoccupy your life then my recommendation is mm-hmm. be sure it gets integrated into your life yes. so you don't have personal life and then business mm-hmm. and then family and then when you go back home there's always this talk about why are you spending so much time in business in your work and you never spend time with your children and you never spend time with your mm-hmm. with your spouse and so on. You, you won't have this kind of argument unless you have compartmentalized mm-hmm. this is business and this is family and this is personal, right? But if you integrate them all, then you have a life and that's what Atomy is all about. You mm-hmm. earn income, you get healthy mm-hmm. by using the products, all right? You, you are socially active because you recommend stuff to people, you interact with people, and you attend seminars and and, and uh, you bring your spouse along, you bring your children along, you talk to them about Atomy as well. They enjoy the product like you do. It is an integrated lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case, when you start and when you end, it should be complete. So I go for the Imperial Master. And it's very clear in my mind, 972 Auto Sales Master will get you there mm, right yeah. so when you think <laughs> about that and you're clear about your vision then you just take your step as it goes along yes right. reaching out to the people tackling one at a time yes. while you have your vision of what's going to be a hit you mm-hmm. tackle one day at a time mm-hmm. all right enjoy your day every day do the eight call do all that is full mm-hmm. the eight call involve interaction with people personal planning and if you have attended my my talk about the eight core you know it's divided into four four the first four you do it by yourselves the next four you must do it with somebody you mm. cannot do it by yourselves so once you understand this too you will remember the eight core come of some of the things you can do by yourself no more excuse no more i can't do it 50 percent is already one just by taking action on yourself. And the other 50% can be done with somebody. Who can that somebody be? Well, it can be done with your spouse. It can be done with your children when you tell them about the benefits of using products. It can be done with your neighbor. It can be done with your partners, your members. It is all possible to do Mm. the eight call. And then when you do that, you surely will go all the way up to your Mm. imperial mastership, Mm. right? Of course, along the way, you know, you, there will be challenges, there will be issues, but you will find that all over the world, listen to all the successful people from Warren Buffett to, you know, Bill Gates to uh, all the uh, internet experts and Anthony Robbins and all those people, yeah. okay? You will find that they say the 99% of the time is a battle of the mind. 99% of the time is about you having the right perspective and belief That's to true. push forward. The rest of the factors, including the circumstances, the, the, the success factors, mm. all these are basically very possibly uh, can be overcome. Mm. Right? Mm. Um, it's just a matter of your mindset. That's true. Right? And once you get it right, you will be the victor. Mm. And so in life, you are basically measured, in my opinion, based on how much you overcome Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that you become a better person, Mm -hmm. right? And I find that when you have this mindset, then Imperial Master is not an issue. Mm -hmm. Nothing can stop you except your own mind, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And therefore, the chairman talks very fittingly 
It's a battle of your own mind. Mm. It's the law of your own mind. That's right. So while we think that it is about people saying yes or no to your invitation to join the join you in Atomy family, mm-hmm. it is more than that. It is also about the law of your own mind in respect to how mm-hmm. far you're gonna go in Atomy. That's true. That's true. So do you have an issue with the law of your own mind? Mm-hmm. I challenge you. Go for the Imperial Master if you are really into the Atomy business. Mm-hmm. There is no such thing as oh that only belong to some people. My type, my type, uh, my contact uh, uh, um, market, uh, my ability. Oh, can only be a sales master. Can only go as far as a royal master, and that will be good enough for me. No, that is an issue there in your definition of your, you know, how far you can go. All right. Break that definition. Go further because if others can do it, surely you can do it. Mm-hmm. But of course, every one of us must do it because of your particular perspective about your goals, That's true. your your purpose. Mm-hmm. And so, once you have that clear, then nothing is owing except your personal commitment to mm-hmm. your purpose. And yes, then you right. can enjoy the fullness of life, the 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 fullness of your sense of purpose for us mm. to have life on the earth, mm. right? Mm. So, yes. if anything, I challenge everybody, go for it. That is my vision. That is my goal to help nine hundred and seventy-two people become auto sales master. I don't even think about oh, I want to be imperial master, because that is just a a feature. Mm. Yeah, the actual benefit. What is that? The benefit is 972 72. people attain auto sales mastership, mm. right? So that is something that I think I can communicate with people and especially to myself. Mm. That is something measurable. That is something very specific and very uh, achievable over time. And I just need to put a time frame on it. And a time frame is I need to talk to people every day. Mm. I do not. Tell myself in three years' time I will be imperial master. In five years' time I'll be imperial master. We set our goals in that sense, but we break it. Though those are timelines, those are not deadlines. They are timelines. Mm, time in lines. that, if you if you break it down, oh, I want to be imperial master in two years, and mm. then therefore you work backwards. In one month, I need to have uh, uh, two auto sales master. Then some of us will stumble over that because it becomes a high stress point That's right. to, achieve, to to reach out to two person to help them to become auto sales master mm. in two months and do that every two months increasingly mm. two person two person. I'm just giving an example. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, you will stress yourself out. That's but true. if you were to to tell yourself every day I'm talking to people every day I'm doing my eight call, then you will be surprised. At the progress that will naturally happen because it's based on the law of sowing and reaping. Mm. You do your part, the result will take care of itself. So, yes. Right. You can have your goal. Two years, I want to be imperial master. One year, I want to be royal master. You can mm-hmm. have your goals there, but that is just a matter of uh, um, you know a beacon further mm. ahead in front of you. But meanwhile, how do you get there? Every day, talk to people. Every day, do your eight call, okay, and take your measurement one week later. Take your measurement one month later. Look back, okay. Are you satisfied with your progress? If not, perhaps every day now is gonna be eight call two times or eight call four times. You know, based on what you can do. Yes, right. And you inch your way and you push your way forward. Yes, yes. Oh, the reason I said that is because I've come across people who set the timeline. In two mm-hmm. years, I will be, in, you know, royal master. And when they do that, they work mm-hmm. backwards. Every month, I must have, uh, you know, fifty people sign up, mm-hmm. and they push themselves, and they push themselves, and they push themselves, and they become something that they may not be able to recognize or may not be prepared for. That's correct. Yes. Wow. This is something that we all need mm-hmm. to. Take one step back and ask ourselves: Is that what you're gonna be? Mm. Because we were talking about what you want to be at the end. At the end. So yes. we thought that oh, I want to be imperial master. That's not who you are. Mm. That's not mm. who you are going to be. That is just 
a title people give to you that is what you are recognized for mm. but that is not who you are that's correct right? yes mm-hmm. so every time you ask somebody and they said uh what do you do and people start talking about what they do or mm. thinking that that's who they are i'm a doctor i'm a lawyer i'm a networker i am a you know a retailer and so on but that's not who you are that's what you do, you do. yes what mm-hmm. who you are is really inside you your value system your you know which is in some way represented by your name mm-hmm. and your name my my name is james chung mm-hmm. all right uh, uh and and basically james represent the name of james represents somebody who is you know uh, achieving and and basically thinking of ways to achieve yes. thinking of ways to to become uh, someone or something mm-hmm. all right and and um, that's who i am and um, that is who i am and we need to be very clear about that and over time mm-hmm. we change right but we need to be remind, be reminded who we are and who we want to be right yes. and so imperial master royal master they basically just title but in the process who you are Well, when you are Imperial Master, you are somebody who helped nine hundred and seventy-two people become Auto Sales Master, mm-hmm. and hopefully nine hundred and seventy-two people. It, it may be less, but at least a certain number of people will remember you in their memoirs of what happened in their life journey. Mm-hmm. That you were an influencer, you impacted their lives, and you were there for them. Wow! Thank you. Go for that. <laughs> thank you, Master James. So you know, all the Tomians I met. I didn't personally meet Master James. I actually met him in one of the YouTube true. video, <laughs> right? So one of his video that I actually played before our interview, remember that? Stop doing Atomy, right? So yes. it's again, you have to be the Atomy, like what Master mm-hmm. James always say. Exactly what he already explained, that you have to become the Atomy. Because if you're doing Atomy, like he says, one day you're going to stop because you are just doing a job. Who are you? A lawyer, a professional. But if you are a being of that enemy, you're not not gonna stop. That... We, we always have we always have this saying, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't feel like doing it. That's true. Right? That's Sometimes true. Sometimes along the way, when we meet certain situations, we say, "I don't feel like doing it." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. I challenge you. I do like feeling it. When you do, you will feel. I still mm-hmm. remember the time when I was in, as a student. You know, you are given homework. You go back home and you do your. You know, assessment, do your homework, mm. and many times you, I don't feel like doing it. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, I remember But that. But the mm-hmm. feeling comes after you've completed it. That's true. Everybody agrees that when they completed the assignment and the job is done, they were so happy they can proudly run to their parents. I got my job done. Mm. I've done my assignment. Now I can play. Now I can do this. Now I can do that. <laughs> the feeling comes yes. after the doing. The doing. Nobody yeah. feel like doing it. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. So once you just mm-hmm. get yourself to do it, then the right feelings will come. Will come. Yes. Thank so you. So I challenge you guys: feel like doing it, feel like doing or rather, it. do like feeling it. You <laughs> do it, and you will feel it right. Yeah. Thank you. So in that video, actually, there's a funny portion that I actually trimmed it because it was too long. Master James said, "Nobody is a human doing." Everyone is a human being because we are being right. That always rings in my in my head. Right. I have to stop do Adamy because if I do Adamy, I will I will stop doing Adamy. I have to become the Adamy. Thank you, Master James. That's that true. actually affected my personal life after I met Master James from that YouTube video. Thank you again. <laughs> yes, it did my too. Yes. Okay, so let's go to the next question, Master James. Was there a time that you wanted to quit in doing Adamy? Oh, many times. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, there's okay. always the issue right. about I don't uh-huh. feel like doing it, and there were times I don't want to meet people. There were times I, I don't want to meet uh, my partners. You know, you do so much for them, and some turn around and and make accusation. Yes, and yes. Um, one of the reason in the last two years uh, when I switch, uh, I experience a, a a a downward trend where some of my diamond master walked away, and they decided mm-hmm. that. They want to do their thing. Um, uh, some continue, but decided to do it their own way and not necessarily with me. And I find that as a leader, uh, your response to a negative setback uh, matters. If you really want to have longevity in Atomy, the response 
is very, very important. It's the same in my practice in, in nutrition, in my practice in health. The responsibility of the body matters, right? So we have responsibility. So if you, not so much as playing on the word, but the word interestingly has a meaning. It is your responsibility that really matters. So what is your responsibility of a leader? Right, and um, there were times where I wanted to give up because of setback like this. There were times that I wanted to give up because of, uh, you know, the I'm doing all the work, and and I was hoping for people to re, to to give me a little bit more relief because everyone has different roles, and when you come up to Sharon Rose Master, you have a different role. But now I'm Sharon Rose Master at the same time doing the roles of a Diamond Master, at the same time doing the roles of a Sales Master, right? So it is very hectic, it is very trying, and there were times like that, okay? And there are still times like that, okay? Depending on which which group of, uh, of, of, your, of your smaller groups there, you know, right, um, yeah. that you're applying yourself to. Because as as you are higher up, you have different groups. You have Diamond Master, and then you have Sales Master, and the Sales Master mm-hmm. have their own groups. So each subset is uh, unique and critical in itself, right? So in the end, you will probably got to have, you know, 972 subsets in that sense, right. you know, yeah. within your lineage. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, it's about how to how to manage all these things and so there were times but i always remember i always remember that it must be integrated it is not just a business problem it is a, a problem of that can impact your life and because of mm-hmm. that all the more you need to rise above the circumstances and the clue or rather the the way i do it is i must see my vision and my hope in the future far bigger than the problem that i face this is not just theoretical but this is something that i do in my mind in my time in my quiet time of reflection Mm -hmm. which is necessary which is actually the first step of the eight core you need to sit down and do a little bit of meditation align yourself to something that will motivate you Mm -hmm. and i do that uh, as a Christian with the word of God and, and as a practitioner of, of a healthy business, mm-hmm. I want to do that with the vision. So the chairman talks about create the vision. So I need to create a far bigger vision when I'm faced with uh, an obstacle right in front of me that literally, you know, blocked your vision. So you need to move one step back and look at the far bigger vision behind that immediate blockage. And you will see. And then what's in front which blocks you, the problems and the challenges and the reason why you should give up becomes very, very small Mm -hmm. and you don't pay attention to it, you don't Mm -hmm. bother with it and your eyes is set on the bigger vision that you have. I find that more invigorating, I find that more enriching and I suddenly just have that energy you know, to just move forward. And that is alignment in your spirit. And then when you take on your him, mm-hmm. the biological support, biological support comes in. So you can't have mind without the body and you can't just take him, him body without the mind. Correct. Yeah. So when you are aligned, spirit, mind, body, mm-hmm. then that is how you can literally overcome the common setback of, you know, uh, despondency, depression, and discouragement. Okay. Right? Wow. So yes. all this D, can be done away with. So we just need to go for your vision and the victory, right? And your vigor to uh, pursue after who you are. Wow, wow. Okay, thank you, Master James. (laughs) So, Master James, so you had a lot of ups and downs. You had, uh, when you achieve your Saturn Rose, that's one of the biggest achievements. And then when you open your own center, that's not the biggest achievement. You have your ups and downs with your Diamond Mask and some of your partners uh, slowing down. Was there any memorable, the most memorable moment in your Adam journey? If you have to pick one, what was that, the most memorable moment? I think the most memorable journey was uh, opening up, opening my center, uh, you know, where we had an opening ceremony right on 
the National Day of Singapore <laughs> on the oh, okay. 9th of August. <laughs> you know, so you know, we deliberately picked that holiday day that we invited people, and were, there were easily like a uh, hundred. A hundred something people who came wow. to a small centre, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and I have to open the window, blow the aircon, and they still complain it's very hot, you know. And people are stranded outside. But the location of my centre is in uh, in a, a business uh, environment, and that was holiday weekend, so all the other shops were closed and all mm-hmm. that. So we had the entire place to ourselves. Right. The people's uh, 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 just spread out and sprawl on all the entire corridor and the, mm-hmm. and the reception, the food were, were further away from the, you know, not squeezed within my entrance or mm-hmm. within my building. And I put away all the chairs and opening and people were standing and walking around and uh, gathering around. And we have different uh, uh, stations, you know, uh, where people dem- uh, do demo for some mm-hmm. of the products, for new ones, we invited new ones. We have a team of people who came in to do tagging, you know, when people tagging. come, they tag. These are new ones, these mm-hmm. are people who are from the near nearby neighborhood, these are partners and so on and so forth. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we, we when, when I opened the center, I was already um, Sharon Rosso, I had, I had a big uh, group of people and they were all very supportive. So that, were, that was a very memorable moment. And I always remember that moment to give me a sense of uh, remembering where you came from. Mm. So that when you are somewhere ahead, you do not forget your humble beginnings. So uh, sometimes we, we, in our atomy journey, I have known of situation, I, I, I've known of situation where people, you know, uh, used to be like that and then now they are further ahead and they just uh, put aside or ignore all the people who were there with him from the beginning but perhaps now, like you said, slow down and are not really doing. Mm. My, my idea is the door is always open and I always want to help people mm. when they want to take action. So I respond to them when they respond to us. Um, and then, but, but the main thing is the invitation still goes out to them. The, the inclusion, you know, getting them to come in is still available to them. I never had a case of, oh, you never follow me, uh, therefore, uh, you know, I leave you alone. I don't contact you. We still reach out and hello, how are you? And then, would you like to join us in this meeting? And we still do all those things, and uh, always trying to uh, develop a chance for the people to come back in to find the momentum again, or advise them about health matters. In our case, uh, advise them about other areas. And it's not a case of oh, you're not following me. You're not, you know. Uh, uh, buying enough, you're not really so active in Atomy, mm. so I, I don't even remember your name, right? So it, it doesn't work like that in, in, as far as I could have it. So um, this is the way I would approach it. And um, the memory, the memorable moments, I believe, is to be able to help you remind, be reminded of your humble beginnings and reminded of the people who are already in your organization and therefore to help every one of them. So sometimes it's not about just going out there, get new people, get new people, keep building, build deep, build down, for, you know, keep on going, keep on going. And what about those people who have started, who are stuck somewhere along the way? You That's know, right. did we find time to, uh, you know, how's it going for you, you know, try new things um, and so on, you know. So remembering your humble beginning Mm-hmm. does matter to me in uh, you know moving forward yes thank you for sharing that master james so wow time really flies we are down to the last four question master james so all right let's yeah. do that so where do you see yourself in the next two and five years in anime well definitely in the next five years my belief and confidence is that i will be very very near imperial master if not crown master, I will be at Imperial Master, if not crown master. My, that is just my goal and also that is just a logical goal to me because your energy level will come down as you age. Mm-hmm. Right? While I try to keep myself fit and I try to keep myself uh, you know, uh, ahead of the times, yeah. um, the, the physical human body has, 
has this thing called aging. <laughs> right? We <laughs> aging. Yes. So while we try to delay that, uh, sometimes you just cannot fight against the clock. We just That's slow right. it down. All right. So we do have a limited period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, having said that, it is just while on the earth. I'm a person with a perspective of eternity. I believe in eternity. I believe I am not pressured to I must do this now because I don't have time or because I want to do it sooner. No, I am a person of eternity and because of that, uh, I'm not caught in a sense of uh, formal fear of missing out, right? I'm not caught in that. There's always a time and a season for That's certain correct. things. Yes. But for a sense of direction, for a sense of a timeline, because we are on the earth and we operate on a timeline mm-hmm. in some way. Um, if you were to ask me five years from now, what, what we are, where I gonna be? Definitely, you know, achieving up to that level because I would be continuing to work on my eight core, work with people on a daily basis to become auto sales master. And yes, that will be what I would be aiming for. Will that happen within that timeline? Will that happen? Uh, well, I would um, have a better sense of uh, control, not so much as uh, being in control of things, mm-hmm. uh, being, being almost to the point of becoming prophetic. Uh, I would measure in terms of looking back, you know, uh, okay, today, where am I? Where am I now? In last three months, where were I? Did I make progress? And therefore, what should I do for the next three months? So mm-hmm. I would go in that kind of, uh, you know, bite-sized progression, right? So that I know by the end of five years, okay, I would um, definitely get there as I make the adjustment every period of time. Okay, in some areas, it could be every day. In some areas, it's every week. In some areas, it's every month and every three months or every year in that sense, right? So that is how I manage um, our growth and our uh, progress in Adamu. Wow. Uh, I'm not mm-hmm. sure it makes sense to people. I'm not sure if that's, that is practical or philosophical. But uh, generally, I find that um, I have been doing that for the last, uh, at least for the last year, you know, con- consciously. Why? Because I'm, I'm implementing that with my team to help them understand about right. goal setting. So goal setting is not just about life scenario plan, write it, every month we write it. But actually, what do we do? Because a lot of, a lot of people just didn't get there, even if, we, if they were to be writing their life scenario plan. It is about how you make your changes, your plans, and then you put those plans into your life scenario plan, and then you are able to like write it out rather than reinvent and reimagine and recreate a new plan as you are told to write new life scenario plans every month. So then I'll do every week, what did I do? So every week we have a business meeting, what have we done? And then by the end of the month, you will know, all right, from the beginning of the month, from the end of the month now, looking back what happened, and then now you make the next plan for the end of the next month, looking at what you're going to do for the next uh, weekly session. So that is a session that I conduct, which we call it the Do, Share and Learn Forum. Meaning, you must do, and then you will be able to come in and share. If you never do, you got nothing to share, right? And once you got something to share, because you do and you share, there's a very good chance you will learn. So that is just a, 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 a concept. And but applying the concept to my team every week when we meet, and they are doing it, and then they are learning. Uh, they they are sharing and therefore they are learning. So it's not just about sharing after me, sharing about their doing, what do they do. And that is how, uh, you know, we we make our plans and we uh, monitor ourselves and we grow. Mm -hmm. I hope that answers your question. Yes, it does. So there you go, Tommy, and you got another one. Do share and learn. (laughs) Another tips from Master James. Thank you, Master James. I wish you luck uh, in five years to become the Imperial Master. I'm pretty sure I will see you at the top over there one day. Mm-hmm. Same for Definitely. you. Same for yes. everyone who takes action. 
<laughs> right. Thank you. So the next question, this is kind of what a uh, wishy-washy question. If you were to redo Atomy again, what would you change? If I were to redo Atomy again, um, yes. Uh, first question is the first point I would uh, check out all the different teams before I sign up to a team because a team does matter. But unfortunately, a lot of people would just sign up because a friend told them and they sign up. They haven't done their homework to investigate because they, they just oblige their friend. And then once they're in that team, they literally have to uh, toe the line, so to speak, based on the values of that team. So as I mentioned, the responsibility of the leader is very, very important, right? Yes, the chairman talks about the fact that don't bother with the uplines, don't bother with the team, the, the so-called leadership. You focus on building your business. But if, the, if there's a chance to, to redo the Atomy business, to start all over again, yes, I will have to choose the right team to join in to be sure that I am growing well. And because, because, all right, I have come across many people who regretted uh, being part of a team because you know their immediate sales master gave up, their immediate diamond masters uh, stopped, uh, people focus on a different so-called power line and then they are stuck in the sideline, you know, and so there are people on the sideline, the offline and so on and so forth, <laughs> right? So all this uh, misunderstanding, misapplication, misconcept. Now, I know it may not be the best answer because uh, chairman would have none of this. If you come in, you are born into this world, you belong to ABC family, you are ABC family, you cannot choose your family. That's correct. Right? Yes. But we are just talking about hypothetically, mm. all right? If you were to, if you were to uh, sign in, so to speak, you mm. want to know who you are really signing in for. And I'm saying this as a matter of um, uh, if I may say, I won't say advice, I, I, I'm not qualified to give advice in that sense. I, I don't want to be seen as that. But if you, uh, uh, just a point to, to ponder. If you therefore are already in the system, be sure you become a leader. Mm. Be responsible for the people who join your team. That is what I would say. So that people joining your team do not regret joining your team and then there won't be such a talk about I wish I joined another team mm -hmm. or I want to redo my atomy journey okay yeah so first and foremost there is no such thing as redoing okay you are already born into the atomy family then be the best leader yourself so that others do not need to redo their experience right, right? So mm -hmm. for all of us who are already in Atomy, okay, for those who are pondering whether they should join Atomy, you still have a chance. Choose the right team. That would be my tip for you. Choose the right team because the right team matters. There are just, unfortunately, the fact of the matter is there are many, many teams that are not... Um, doing the atomy correctly firstly because they are doing atomy they are not being atomy number two they are pursuing with a, an agenda mm. that is not clear to themselves or to their teams that's right, right? Very good. Other, some yeah. people some people are not facing up to what exactly are they doing mm -hmm. they're just doing because maybe because of the benefits that they're hoping to have that's right okay yes. but i do not judge anybody i do not intend to do that I'm just saying a lot of us need to, um, you know, uh, basically do a lot of self-evaluation to ensure that they are really becoming atomy, which is cherish the spirit, create the vision, follow the faith, and then serve, serve with humility. humility. And when people are very clear about that, that they are uh, delivering that integrated in an integrated manner, Yes. then a lot more people would have enjoyed that journey in Atomy. Mm -hmm. There you go, Atomians. You got another tips from Master James. 
if you haven't started any Atomy journey yet, or if you haven't become a member, make sure you do your own due diligence and find the right team to true. join, right? If you're already too late, like most of us, we're already in the system, <laughs> be a good leader of yourself. Be the, be, be the best leader of yourself. And then you have members under you, they're not gonna regret that they're under you. So if they regret that, then you're not a good leader. There you go. There is a very, very strong tips from Master James. Thank you again, Master James. So the next question, what tips can you give for new people? I believe you already answered that. Maybe you have another tips or... For new people, yeah, for yes, new people, definitely. Yeah. Uh, don't be in a hurry to do the business. Okay, you cannot do the business when you don't understand the products. Okay, when you be whoever you want to be, you begin first by taking the food so that you can grow up. So when a child at kindergarten, I want to be a policeman, I want to be a firefighter, right? Grow up. First grow up. How do you grow up? Eat your food. Sleep your sleep. Do your exercise. The basics of life. So in anatomy, the basics of life, take your supplements, use your products, attend your, your uh, training, grow up, and then you decide how you're going to do the business and why you will do the business. So once you grow up and you have this maturity, then you are very clear why you want to do it. And then be true to yourself, be fully who you want to be because you know why you want to be. So that would be my a suggestion for anyone who joins in at me uh, as a new person, what can you next do to ensure you have a good journey in at me? Use all the products that you can possibly handle because they are all good quality meant for daily use, right? And if you are spending money buying something for your daily needs that is not an Atomy brand, and Atomy has it, then you are not integrated into becoming Atomy. Right. And so you will stumble along the way more often than you can handle. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Master James. So what tips now can you give to giving up partners? Sorry, what tips in? Oh, if for partners. You partners mean? that are giving up, that want to give oh, up, okay. throw in the towels. Partners yeah. who decide to throw in the towels. Yeah. Mm. So I would say, number one, go back to your leader and demand of the leader to show you their dreams. Mm. And then see if you can catch a dream. That is one. Mm -hmm. You need to create your vision. So you cherish the spirit, meaning go for the person, a leader. Whether it's in your group or not in your group, it doesn't matter. Go to them. If they are willing to have you, spend time with you, listen to you, do that. Create the vision out of what they share with you. Once you have that vision for yourself and what you want to do, then you just follow the faith, right? So when you have partners who have gotten themselves into the business and hurt along the way and therefore thinking of giving up, right? Then your core company motto is not embedded into your spirit and mind. Mm -hmm. So go back to the core. So cherish the spirit, go to a leader to get help. Mm -hmm. If not, watch the chairman video again. But sometimes the chairman is too far away, you know, it's not personable. That's okay, right. because it's just a video figure, right? Mm -hmm. You can watch over and over again until you are drawn in or you talk with a real person who can really give you very practical uh, and something that is very specific to your circumstances. The type of advice they would be able to give you. All right, and then you just build your vision, create your vision out of that and then follow your faith. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, continue your journey because when you give up, Atomy doesn't stop. Atomy will grow and do well with or without you. That's right. So rather with you than without you. So if you have gone to the bus, stay there even though you're near the 
exit, trying to get out the bus, mm. stay there. The bus will still move on and you will still reach your destination. Even though you're not comfortably seated on the seat in the bus. Wow. Right? It's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stay on there. So long as you don't jump out, okay, you will get to your destination. Mm -hmm. So there you go, giving up partners, giving up members. Think about <laughs> not to give up, stay in the bus, you will get there. Thank you, Master James. So we are done to the very end, I mean, the interview. So do you have any closing word, Master James, you want to say to your groups, anything, closing words? Yeah. Well, I, I said that recently because somebody shared that with me. The challenges that you face, the obstacles that you have to you know, overcome, and including difficult leaders or you know misalignment of values and and whatever the reason whatever thing the struggles that you go through if you overcome them and when you overcome them by your choice and by your will mm -hmm. this story will become the mind map the survival guide right. for the next person further down the line so what is your story? At the end of the day, all of us will have a story. The chairman calls it the life scenario plan, right? So what is your story that you can hand down to the next person or the next person in getting to know you can receive and use that as a survival guide mm -hmm. for them to make it in this world, in life in general. So that's why we need to live at the me. It's not just to be in the atomy business and do well in atomy. You can do well in atomy. And I know people who do well in atomy, but the family is complaining. I know people who do well in atomy, but the child is having, you know, ADHD issues, right? I'm not talking about, oh, I have no time. I, I develop atomy, therefore I must sacrifice. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about whether there is enough integration. And then I'm also not talking about the fact that people who rise up to Royal Master, Imperial Master earn a lot of money and therefore all the, all the problems disappear. Did the problem disappear? Did the problem disappear because you use money to solve the problem? Because you have more money now? Or did the problem disappear because you solved the problem? Because you gave them love and care more that's and right. not just money. That's right. So that's why I asked the question, when you become successful, is it because you had more money or is it because you become a better person? Mm -hmm. Did you think you become a better person because now you have more money and you feel better, you are more confident? Or did you feel good and have more confident because your value system is always enriched and always maturing and growing? So that's the difference. And that's why we need to be very clear about these things. And once you are clear about these things, your atomy journey will be very fulfilling, in my opinion, because that is what I'm carving it out to be, because that is what I really want atomy for me to be like that. And I wish the same for all of you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you for the closing word, Master James. So again, like Master James said, we all have to fill out our own life scenario books because this is our life. We have to make a scenario of our life, what we want to be down the road. So I'm going to put the link from our CEO, Han Gil Park, how to fill our life scenario books. So in there, you can learn from the, from the actual founder himself, our CEO, Han Gil Park, how to write down our life scenario. Thank you again, Master James, for your time to do this one-on-one -on -one interview at the Adam International. I truly wish your success through Adam and Thank reaching you. the top together, Master James. And I wish you all, and I wish everyone who listens to this success also in Adam. Thank you very much. So, and back to you all Atomians that have watched this episode. If you feel that you enjoy this video, you like this video, make sure you click the like button and share it to your friends. And don't forget to leave a comment. Maybe there's some areas that we haven't covered. You can always leave a question and maybe we can answer that in the comment box. I see you all at the top. Aja, aja, aja.
구독, 좋아요 눌러주세요.